Hey, what's up everyone? So today we're going to be talking about a recovery tool that I've been using for a while. Some of you may have heard of it, but it's called contrast bath therapy or contrasting baths. And uh, we're going to talk all about it right now. So there's a lot of studies out there. Uh, a couple of different studies showed that it decreased soreness. It decreased uh, DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness, a couple of days after a strenuous workout. And it also helped uh, clear out the lactic acid athletes were feeling less fatigued than they normally would. So why not give it a try? It couldn't hurt, right? So let's look at exactly how you would do it, the steps that I use to do it. And you wanna um, make sure you're being safe as well, especially with the hot water. So let's get into exactly how to do it right now. So of course you can't have two bathtubs, one with hot water and one with ice water. That's just too much water. The ice will melt too fast. So the best way to do it, the way that I do it, is I use two different containers usually like a 13 gallon waste paper basket that will go up to your knees and it's going to be kind of mostly lower body. If you have another container that can get your entire leg that's better but uh, for now we're just going to go up to our knees or lower thighs. So um, you're going to fill one of them with ice water if you have enough ice or you can get a 20 pound bag of ice from the store. Um, so that one's going to be your ice water. The next one you're going to fill with hot water but you're also going to need a thermometer to check the temperature. Um, I don't use a th thermometer but I just kind of feel it with my hand and I, I've gotten used to what temperature feels about right um, and so I'll fill up one with hot water one with um, cold water. So another step that I use is I'll have a small bucket of cold water and then another bucket of um, hot water nearby because I always want to add a little bit of hot water to the hot water bucket because it does cool down quite quickly. The cold water I'm not too worried about because it stays colder for longer. Alright so once you have both buckets of water ready, you're hot and you're cold, you're going to put your legs in the hot water first for two minutes. Then you're going to switch and put your legs in the cold water immediately after for one minute. Get your stopwatch ready, time it, you're going to go two minutes in the hot one minute in the cold and repeat that about six to eight times or about 20 minutes total 18 to 21 minutes I can't stress this enough you really have to be safe with the hot water do not put your legs in water that is too hot because you're gonna burn yourself so uh, a thermometer is probably the best thing to do if you're going to do this method of recovery but if you do it right and you do it uh, after hard workouts or long runs, I think that you're going to find that you recover a little bit faster and your legs are just going to be feeling a lot fresher for the next day and get you back out there uh, training and feeling good while doing it. So go ahead and give this contrasting bath a try. I think it's going to help you guys out a lot. So good luck with that. If you have any questions about how to do this, just let me know and um, I'll be sure to message you and, and help you out. All right, good luck out there with your training, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.